Hello, Swim Racers, and welcome, welcome aboard. And uh, well, tonight we are navigating the most risky and unknown waters aboard the biggest boat there is. <laughs> yes, so tonight we are going to try and practice a little bit with the old Bentley from 2015 and uh, hopefully it will be fun. Uh, why is that? We are going to have an event, I think, uh, in, I, I think next week or something like that. Uh, I don't know all the details, uh, but I do know that we will um, tell people to, to use, you know, old cars from 2018 season. Uh, and it will be either at Spa, Paul Ricard or Silverstone one of those three tracks we don't know exactly i don't know exactly which track uh, it's going to be chosen at the last moment uh, so that people do not you know practice all the time and uh, what i want to do is at least get some you know experience behind the wheel of of this car that it is a long long time that i haven't driven driven and um yeah that's uh let's get into it right okay so um, first of all, let me check a couple of uh, things here because I think something is off with the sound uh, of um, of the game. No, seems uh, seems okay. Okay, let's go. Let's go in. Let me know if you can hear the uh, effects of uh, the uh, the game. Should be. Uh, hey, Mr. Git. <laughs> Your V12 laughs in the same of the bot. How are you doing, guys? All at the chat. Um, I'm, I'm a little bit, you know, I'm a little bit um, uh, tired and a little bit, I don't know where I am <laughs> right now. So sorry if I'm not my usual self. Um, so, yeah. So let, let me show you the, the bot, as they call it. Um, so he, here's the car. I did a little bit of a uh, custom library, custom, I mean, the usual library from inside the game. I think it's nice. It certainly is a big, nice car, right? I mean, look at this. Very, very cool. It, it is a massive car. It, it, it is... Uh, I, don't, I, I usually do not like extremely big cars, but it, it has something you know it has something so yeah um let's open it a little bit and go inside and see how it is right nice you, you you have to sit so farther back and still the car has a lot of uh front weight bias so yeah it's not uh it's not an easy car to set up um for example let me show you uh, one of the actual problems of of this car is that it has such a long front splitter that even though it's one of the most easier uh, cars to, to, to go over the curbs, the problem is that it touches with the front splitter uh, way too easily on the curb and so, you know, it it's, uh, uh, unsettles the whole, the whole car. So even though you can go low, if you have to jump over curbs, you have to raise a little bit the car because of this extremely, extremely long uh, front um, splitter. One of the most uh, important things that uh, Bentley tried to improve and actually managed to do for the 2018 Bentley, uh, 2019 Bentley, sorry, the new one, the Evo one, uh, is the, 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 the front of, of the car has much, much shorter splitter, even though it manages to produce the same uh, downforce. Um, another thing that they managed to do with the new car is that it's much more, um, has much less drag, aerodynamic drag. This one has a lot of power, but also has a lot of aerodynamic drag. So yeah, it's, uh, it has older electronics and so on and so on. I mean, it's a great car. It's not as developed as other cars. So it's not going to be easy. Um, all right, so uh, first of all, let me do a couple of laps at Paul Ricard that we have already some laps 
and some lap times from uh, Porikar with the Nissan. So we know that we, I mean, if I can manage to go somewhere around 56 lows or 56 mids, or at least, you know, have an idea uh, how to um, how to improve and uh, set uh, and what kind of performance we can wait and accept from, from this car. Um, let's go back to practice and somewhere around, what was it, like 20, yeah, 8 o'clock in the evening. And uh, yeah, that, that's, that should be okay here. Hey, Nobel! <laughs> Nobel! You like the brown wheels, they're not brown, they are, um, I can't find the, 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 the word right now. They are bronze, they are bronze, mate. <laughs> All right. It's going to be interesting, I think. You know, there are going to be many different and strange cars that you don't see often. You know, and uh, that's uh, that's good, I think. All right. Why do I have Cortana always so young? Okay, so let's go in and uh, have some laps. Hello, hello, Bobby. Let me know if you can uh, listen to the sound properly. All right, and uh, aggressive setup as usual. We'll do a couple of laps. Let's see how we are here. Yeah, you see, it's already a little bit higher the front, not not as low as possible. Um. Okay, let's let's see what we can do. All right, the Thunder V8. Okay. <laughs> that's a nice differential over there oh it's also right hand drive so I will have to you have silence oh yeah now should be I don't know why it's every time it's locked like that okay okay it's coming it's coming yeah I don't even know where I'm going. Uh, tonight's gonna be terrible. I'm, 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 I'm telling you guys. Don't unsubscribe. It's just one of those nights. <laughs> oh, it sure is thunderous. It also feels so much higher and far away from the road. Not so fast here. Hey, Manuele! Oh, my man. It's terrible. <laughs> so I'm terrible. The car is okay for now. Wow, from Uruguay. Hello, Pablo. Hey, welcome, welcome. Thanks, mate. Well, with all that weight at the front, the front end series nice initially, then it just blows away and understood. It's an overall value, Todd. Uh, 
rearrange is a little bit uh, interestingly alive when I'm starting the braking zone. It's nice. It's not. Uh, it's not difficult. It's just you know. Kalispera Thano, then then I have idea. To Max, we start to have a lot of problems. It's not easy to drive Max or something else. It's a nuisance. Nice steady car. You can feel it's bigger and if not bigger, it's certainly less refined than the Nissan that I was, you know, driving here until last week. It's a bit slow on the straight, but there is a uh, Still some wings that we can, you know, lower. So there's still hope. Where am I from Greece? I'm, uh, I'm from Athens. I was born in Athens. Find out the the gears. Did you hear how it uh, it touches the ground on that curb over there? <laughs> That's nice. Right, so let's fix a little bit the pressures. So, pop, 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 pop. Need three here and three here. And I need quite a lot here. Almost one PSI more, yeah. So, 24. 6.6 27.2 right all right some extra front um, okay I won't be touching anything it would be nice to go down the rear wing but we will try that later let's first find what the uh now uh, Jay hey uh, actually as I said we're gonna have a race I don't know if it's gonna be Pori car spa or silverstone we're gonna have a race next week but they don't tell us the uh the circuit um and since i just you know tried um the uh the nissan at paul ricard i have a good idea how fast it is i want to have a look and see how slower their car this car is at paul ricard i'm not gonna push it a lot 
I'm just gonna do a couple of laps here and see how slower this car is to have an idea and then I will take it and go probably at Silverstone which is a long time that I haven't uh, driven Silverstone and I want to see what I can do it how I can set up the car at Silverstone um, you know having a good car that can support me during the race Uh, Alex, uh, for PC, put it at 900 and the PC does it for you. Unfortunately for console, I found out that you need to change it for every car, which is terrible. Uh, I hope that we can fix that as soon as possible. Hey, Steve, thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, let's uh, have a go. Wow. Yeah, probably hairs, but you know, I'm not gonna research more. If if I can do a 57 low or 56 high here, I will be good. I will just you know skip to to Silverstone and have a go on uh, on a different track. Yeah, that too, Paul. I agree. I agree. Doesn't make any sense. I mean, I can understand that it goes locked because, you know, having higher fob, fob, uh you know, could lower the frame rate possibly because it will show more things. But it's, it should be possible to lower the fob because everybody wants to lower the fob so that they can go closer to the steering wheel, so... No, it's not really overweight. It's, I mean, all those cars are pretty much have the same weight because of the BOP. It's, it's big and it has a high center of gravity in comparison to other cars, so... Cozio, dipende cosa intendi per asimmetrici, non è del tutto sconsigliabile, ma sono più difficili da capire cosa fai, devi essere un attimino più, avere più esperienza. Hey Alex! Yeah, also that, uh, Jonathan. Yeah, I was watching the chat, obviously. <laughs> Mad, yeah. Eliseo, grazie. <laughs> Colin <laughs> Absolutely mate, yeah. You just you know pull push pull the the sail and you just go. Depends where the wing goes but it's not so stable over the curbs. I still don't know where I am. Mm. 
No, no, Bobby, I didn't. I didn't. Actually, I'll take a note and ask the, the people. Ooh. Yeah, it's a Fanatec Direct Drive, uh, Steve. Direct Drive 2, it's uh, one of the early prototypes. Yeah, all the, all the wind is implemented. It's a D2. Thank you, CC. Yeah, like the channel, smash the like button, all that stuff, you know. Subscribe to the channel. Actually, the channel is going really great lately. So thank you so much for your support, guys. For a channel that never uses, you know, clickbait titles and uh, stuff like that, because I hate clickbait. I really, really hate it. It's really cool. I like it. Yeah, there's definitely more weight at the front. This car has uh, around 55-56% uh, of the weight at the front. But the brake bias numbers that you see, guys, are not identical between cars. So 60% at one car is not identical to 60% on the other car. It depends on how the car is made and what kind of, uh, you know, um, hydraulic system uh, has and uh, what kind of brakes it has so it, it's not an absolute number here in uh, Seto Corsa Competizione it's a number that is close to what the car actually has inside but it's not an absolute number by far it's not an absolute number not driving well Uh, Cozio, non te lo consiglio, perderesti proprio la testa. Exactly, John Smith, exactly as you said. Uh, Rob, uh, I did something, but it's generic. I am not a FOV, uh, you know, uh, fanatic. Find something, as I said always, that it is... Okay, yes, obviously don't use extreme values, so find something that is close to reality, uh, but then stick to it, uh, make some compromises depending on how, where you sit and what your monitor is and how you race, and stick to it. Many people keep changing the FOV, uh, trying to find performance. I don't believe it works like that except uh, Except, you know, extreme situations. Alright, let's go. Uh, you can lock uh, the rear wheels, uh, but you have to be... to use extreme brake bias, and you have to have less downforce and stuff like that, you have to go slow. At higher speeds, it's just not enough. Um, it depends also how you decide to simulate the brake pedal. In reality, the brake force that you can do is pretty much, you know, um, infinite, let's say. So if you can put an infinite amount of brake force on the pedal, and obviously the hydraulic system supports it, then at some point, you're gonna get infinite amount of force pressing uh, the um, uh, the discs. Uh, but to simulate something like that, it would be that the brake pedal would be extremely sensitive 
at the initial very low brake force. So you have to choose a compromise how you want to simulate that because obviously we have people that have, you know, um, uh, professional braking pedals and we have other people that have, uh, um, you know, consumer braking pedals. So uh, you, you need to understand how, how to simulate that. So how, how we do it is uh, we arrive very close to, you know, being able to lock up all four wheels. Now, it might happen that depending on what kind of you know, brake bias you use and how much downforce you use and so on, that the rear brakings that usually have the smaller brakes uh, manage to, to lock the tires later. But, you know, Uh, it's not easy to go down to 56. Let me stop. I want to try and see if I can uh, go a little bit higher here, maybe. And if I can manage to put this on zero and a little bit lower to the rear to counterbalance it and see what happens. But I don't want to stay here for a long time. I want to go and try Silverstone. Yeah, but max at the rear, it's not max. It's still heavily biased at the front, you know? As we explained, the brake bias, it's not the absolute value. It's still very heavily at the front. It's just a number that shows on the real car that says how much pressure the hydraulic systems have. But that's not the actual brake torque uh, percentage that you get on, on the brakes. if we have some extra speed here hmm, a little bit not much and <laughs> so much drag into this car it just won't go up higher
Oh, I couldn't have stopped it. <laughs> Hello, mate. Thank you so much. Hope you're doing well, too. Satirin Topalio. Kaidan, yes, the slipstream is different both in generation and how you feel it depending on the car. No, Raul, you are following a rule of thumb that simply does not apply. Oh, come on. Uh, simply does not apply. It's not like uh, because you know that normally the cars have to be slower at the front, all the cars have to be like this. The Ferrari in particular was one of the first cars with advanced aerodynamics that uh, likes to be lower the rear often, you can also, I mean, go and watch some real-life photos of the car. You'll see that it is usually has a negative rake. The front is a tiny bit higher and the rear is lower. Uh, the aerodynamics on that car work uh, like this. I'm, I'm sick and tired of Paul Ricard. Let's go to Silverstone. <laughs> Let's go to Silverstone, find some normal up time. Uh. <laughs> Tortellini. Uh, NSX, no, not so much. The modern Lamborghini, the Evo Lamborghini is closer to that uh, kind of aerodynamics. Um, the Audi a little bit. Um, but no, the, the, the NSX, not, not so much. No, no, the shortest of all is uh, by far the, uh, the Porsche. The Porsche is the shortest of all. <laughs> Zico, we all suck. Absolutely, Jonat, yeah. They, they do some magic tricks with the front uh, diffuser and... It, uh, I, no, I cannot tell that. <laughs> NDA, cannot tell that. But no, no, not, not, not all things happen because they you know they they are designed some things happen by luck Daniele Medicina fatto <laughs> vero uh Rishab, there is absolutely step by step go and find my how to set up a car um uh, too long didn't watch uh, playlist and then you will find step one, step two, step, step three, what to do to set up your car properly. There's definitely a step-by-step a step, uh, tuning process. 
and otherwise it, you you would be completely lost into a uh, complex car like the GT3 car. Uh, yes, there is a small difference. Uh, I don't remember right now if the 2018 is faster or the 2019 is faster. I don't remember. There is a small difference, but it's small. It's not a big deal. Um, thank you. Thank you, Sissi. Thank you, Sissi, for the link. See you, Gabriel. Man, nonology. No Sorry, guys. <clears throat> I just can't. Today, um, I, I cannot work. I hope it's not COVID. <laughs> no, it's not COVID. I'm always in, in the, inside the home. So. Um. Matt A, as I said, the brake bias is what that you see inside the Seto Corsa is not an absolute number. Uh, it's not like 60% of the brake bias uh, the same as 60% on, on another car. The 60% that you see has to do with the uh, hydraulic pressures inside the system, which obviously is different from car to car. But it's not like on the other sims that you have the 60% means that 60% of the torque goes at front and 40% goes at the rear. No, you can have 60%, but the actual torque could be 70 or 65 or 55 uh, it depends but what we show you is the typical numbers that also the real cars have and we decided to do this way so that you know the real drivers and engineers when they go in they can go more or less close to what brake bias they use in the real cars and already be you know uh close to the actual real car so that's why we did it but it's it's different it's uh uh, a, a non-value value. value. It's, it's, it's different. It's, it has to do with the hydraulics, not with the actual torque distribution of the braking. No, you're not going to see power charts ever in the game. It's NDA. Uh, yes, Steve, I think I have already made a spa walk. Yes, CC Driver, thanks, thank you for the link, mate. As, as usual, CC Driver always on top of the game. Of uh, Kaidan, no. I mean, the the BOP will take care trying to put the cars close in lap times. Of course, for older cars, you know, at some point they get abandoned and they are not, you know, they, they are not making the, the older cars faster. I mean, you, you still have to have some respect for what the manufacturer does. So if the manufacturer tries to bring a faster car, you cannot make the faster car as slow as the older car. It's, they, need, they need to have a balance, you know. Hey, thank you, mate. Thank you, Matt. Uh, cornering, I don't know. Mm, straight line, possibly the BOB, it's different. I have no idea, Matteo. Soon, because Okay, guys, let, let, me, let me drive a bit. So let's go and get the aggressive. Do a couple of laps, let's see how it's put here. And uh, let's see what we can do. Next week's gonna be sooner or later.
Yeah, it's wild, yeah. Oh, it's good turn in over there. No, nah, it's not delayed. Ooh, yeah. It just lost the front splitter over there. <laughs> Oh, the BOP actually, you know, uh, changes the uh, uh, the turbo pressure and how it comes and how it remains. So they try to, you know, take care of that. But turbo lag is not something they can fix. Turbo lag is on the manufacturer. So Hey, Davide, I did a race at, with the Maserati. It was uh, at Suzuka. Uh, one of them, it's also, it was also under the rain and I won. So... Go, go back to my last, you know, online races uh, playlist and or live streams and you will find the Maserati video. Maserati race. Front speeder scrapping on the ground is terrible. So, Hello, Samuel. All good. Ah, <laughs> David. With the old uh, Bentley? Because that's the old one. Uh, I don't think so, Danny. It's uh, really hard to, to calculate and... Uh, the collision to the ground system takes a lot of resources. It's not easy to modify and fix or improve. Yeah, I, I agree in terms of, uh, you know, body damage is not very realistic. Other damage, it's even more realistic than, than others. So it depends again. I mean, our tire damage is way way advanced i think it's industry leader it depends it depends oh <laughs> you don't get news from me guys always for the official channels oh well the old bentley is uh a completely different and wild animal it has all sorts of e of issues and problems it's uh, it's not a bad car to drive actually but it's not fast See how it moves around a lot. I mean, it's nice to drive and it's slow in changing behavior, so it doesn't really bite you hard, but um, it's not so linear, so it doesn't do exactly what you want. You have to drive around.
Let's see, we can make it under two minutes today. Won't be easy. Oh my god. It's particularly unstable when you touch the brakes at very high speeds. Ah, that was bad. Watching the chat again, way too much. Yeah, yeah, the um, that American uh, real driver, right? He he's always very very fast with uh, with the Godzilla, very fast. Uh, Alessio, mm, we don't have a dead zone problems. I don't know if there is any problem in the console, honestly, I don't know, but in the PC we never had any dead zone problems in the G29. So I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, pff, it could do some contribution, but it really depends. Usually it's only the slow one. Um, yeah, right, so let me go up a little bit here, so five, five, and uh, ooh. that doesn't seem good, probably I've lost some pressure somewhere, let's try and see, let's go back up by five and see what happens. Then I, I don't know. Have you? I mean, I, I don't know, honestly. I you. Sorry, I have no idea. Uh, I know that the uh, dead zone thing, you know, uh, user interface is missing on the console. Unfortunately, again, I have no explanation about it. Um, but uh, if you if you mean the dead zone of the. Um, of the first feedback, I don't know if you saw there is a if in the console there is a slider for the minimum force. Uh, if there is a slider for the minimum force, you have for the Logitech wheels you have to put this around 12 or to 14 percent, something like that. Hey Mopar, thank you, mate. Right, so mm, oh, it's already a little bit high here. We should close those a little bit, and that will bring our tires back. So let's go down by two and hope for the best. Mm. Yeah, so Nico. No worries, uh, Alessio. I wish I could help you more f with, uh, you know, with uh, with the consoles. But unfortunately, I don't have a console, and uh, uh, we we don't do exactly the the console. We're just doing the whole code, and then it gets converted for the console. Uh, Logitech is always the minimum force needed is always around uh, twelve to fourteen percent, somewhere around there. Hey, thank you, Joel. So many people today. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. I'm sorry that uh, today is a little bit on the uh, low rhythm side. Um, but yeah, I would like to lower this down and have some sleep and be able to play more with the electronics. Yeah, sorry I'm not explaining much today. Uh, it's gonna be hard uh, to. I mean, certainly not today on dumpers. I'm not. I'm not in the mood. I'm not. I don't have the force to talk about dumpers. Uh, you know, luckily the um, luckily the 
Pirelli tires have a very wide range of uh, temperature operation. And so it's not a big problem if they heat up too much. As long as they don't get orange, it's not a big problem. Yeah, today it's a more like, okay, let's see what we can do. Chit chat with the, with the chat, with you guys, and uh, stuff like that. Sorry about that, I mean, I'm not exactly focused. Maybe later on we can see if we can find a server online and go have a lap. I don't know. Just going to find a decent setup here for this car. No, the, it dep depending on the on the car, depending on the driver, and depending on the race engineer, I can tell you that there is a lot of magic going on with the uh, bump stops, especially the fronts, but also the rears. Uh, it really depends on the car and the race engineer. Some race engineer uh, really like to to work a lot, and they understand also how to work with the uh, with the uh, bump stops also at the rear. Uh, other engineers prefer to balance the car in a different way and that they don't use it at the rear at all or almost at all but you know it, it's it's not uh, a rare uh, side so don't worry about it they do use them well my direct drive is now set very low in force like 15 percent because i use 100 percent gain inside the game for development reasons i have to know when the first feedback you know um uh, goes goes to the red otherwise if i, I if i should you know uh configure it properly I would have used something around 40-50% inside the game gain for feedback gain and something around 50-60% depending how, how hard it becomes on the, uh, on the steering wheel. Ah, <laughs> yeah, John Smith, that is true. If it works, you know, use it. Uh, you know, in the end, um, real life engineering, uh, I mean, race setups in real life, are more uh, in terms of, at least, you know, as long as we're not talking about Formula One, uh, but uh, they are more like uh, okay, I have this kind of experience or somebody, you know, told me, told me something from another team and it works. Uh, so let's use it and let's stick to it because they do not really have the time to try everything. You know, they, there are always limits in, uh, in real life uh, testing. So they don't have the time to, to test everything they want. Uh, if they had the time, I can assure you they would do even crazier things than what, you know, sim racers do. But they don't have the time. So this is where the better engineers that have, you know, good um, theoretical approach and they can use the tools are very valuable because they can, from, from the theory, get out with good... Uh, setups also in, in practice.
not uh, not too heavy super speed because those cars all have you know hydraulic assistance or electric and so generally the faster the car goes into thirds and makes lots of you know g's the lighter the steering wheel is requested from the drivers because you have a lot of force you know so your, your actual hands uh, weight much uh, much more right because of the g-forces so to be accurate you don't want the steering wheel to uh, work against you so they prefer usually drivers prefer very light steering wheels That is getting a little bit too hot. Right, so okay, so let's stop a little bit and have a look at what is happening here. So practically we have the front tires a little bit too hot. Uh, that would be a good idea then to go back to four at the brake ducts at the front. Uh, and uh, we need to go a bit lower here, maybe two, like this. And we need to go higher here. So 26 point, uh, another four, wow, 26 and uh, <coughs> sorry again and uh, 26.5 right okay uh no boy we we don't do uh lateral deformation of the wheels um it wait are you talking about wheels or tires the wheels do have some deformation but it is really minimal especially on this kind of wheels for, for racing it's uh, negligible let's say tires absolutely have tons of lateral deformation it's taken into account both lateral longitudinal and vertical so everything flexes how does a normal work day looks for me how does a normal uh, work day looks for me well um about usually five to six hours of driving and uh in between excel data input uh, tests telemetry stuff like that this is what i usually do and uh, from year here to then lots of also uh writing about gameplay uh situations uh consulting with other colleagues um research and development on how some futures of new cars work and um gameplay again as i said future and trying to understand how and how we can write it down so that you know the the, the other developers can make them and and stuff like that so this is more or less what happens every day 
how you solve lift off oversteer. Mateo, Mateo Piva, you were the, uh, the Miata guy, right? That ex Miata guy. Well, how did you <laughs> solve the Miata? If you're that one, how do you solve the lift off oversteer? Well, you have a couple of um, potential possibilities on those cars stiffer front end and lower bump stop rate so that the suspension goes into the bump stop sooner. Uh, higher preload differential that might though provoke more oversteer at low gears on power. Uh, or the first thing that you can do is lower the rear right head or raise the front right head. But that also so will provoke extra understeer you know, on, on exit. So. È l'Alpine particolare, devi, devi, devi lavorare tantissimo col volante, portarla al limite di una leggera derapata e stare lì lavorando tantissimo col volante, non è una macchina facile da portare. Ah, uh, thanks Pascal, yeah, it's, uh, I can't complain. <laughs> Questa Bentley è la vecchia, non è una delle migliori, è forse una delle peggiori. <clears throat> Ehi, hey, ciao Matteo! So, stiamo, stiamo tutti aspettando trepidamente per vedere cosa prenderai. Ci aspettiamo il meglio del meglio. Hey, thank you, thank you, Pius. Yeah, 23 subscribers. Thank you so much, everybody. Thank you so much, all 23,000. Actually, guys, remember, subscribe to the channel. <laughs> Ciao, Pino. La nuova è una delle migliori, sì, decisamente una delle macchine, forse non del top del top, ma una delle macchine che può quasi vincere su ogni circuito, quasi. Uh, su tanti può vincere, su qualcuno forse no, uh, ma quasi tutti i circuiti può, può vincere. How I see the future of sim racing in general? Um, no idea, mate. No, no idea. I mean, you see lots of professional things happen, but it depends what you mean about future of sim racing. I mean, we just announced some mega, mega news with SRO and uh, Fanatec, you know, uh, but that's not actual sim racing for, for us, for all of us. It doesn't, I mean, other than the notoriety of the thing and the how cool is that, it really doesn't touch uh it's one of us sim racers i put myself in uh, obviously the positivity of that kind of operation is that possibly more sim racers will be will get in we will have to be patient and teach uh all those guys how our world uh works uh, but you know more sim races means more sales more sales means more support for us to keep on doing what we're doing and offer you the best sim racing possible uh, but other than that i don't think it really affects us as sim racers possibly it will affect you know the creme de la creme of sim racing which are 100 guys 200 guys 1000 guys right the rest of us which are you know 1 million it's cool but that's it. Thank you, thank you, Mobar. I don't know how this is going to, to work, Weepy. I mean, if they have thought about it, I guess they, they know it's going to be good. I mean, again, uh, it might bring to the real uh, races more video gamers that still haven't understood how sim racing works and not sure if they can go to the real races which is a great thing so why not but i don't know i don't know how what's going to happen uh, i'm pretty sure it's going to be a headache for me <laughs> with people complaining but yeah it is what it is mm. Uh, Zoel, I'm sorry to, to waste it, for to, to ruin it for you, but I'm not so sure about VR. I mean, still the uh, percentage of people using VR is minimal, and I can't understand why personally, but I know that you guys are very passionate about it, but... <laughs> Mm 
Rodrigo, I sent a hug to all Brazilians, but I don't know what that has to do with the caster. <laughs> We are talking J J8. We are talking uh, hundreds of thousands. Uh, I cannot give you the exact numbers because uh, ACC uh, Kunos is part of uh, 505 Games, which is uh, um, a big company on the um, on the market, uh, and so they have to, you know, uh, release such data. I cannot talk about them publicly. Right, let's go do a couple of more laps. Let's see if we can go under uh, two minutes. Uh, keep in mind that uh, Seto Corsa Commissione is a single series and as such is a niche of a niche of a market. Uh, but still, I think we did uh, great numbers with it. Uh, so, above expectations, so we're very, very happy with it. Non, uh, non parlo di, di piani futuri, non spetta a me dire queste cose o decidere. Don't know, guys, I don't know. Yeah, guys, it's uh, either I don't know, or even if I don't, if I know, I cannot tell because uh, I'll gladly explain this once more. Uh, everything that happens in video game world right now is always linked to um, uh, contracts, licenses, uh, NDAs, all that stuff. Uh, and that stuff is lots of legal stuff, lots of money stuff. And um, it's both respectful to not talk about something that, you know, a manufacturer or a series or an organizer hasn't yet approved 100%. And also, it's also very, very um, problematic and dangerous to talk about something that legally is not ready yet. So, because of all of those reasons, uh, all developers, you know, uh, never talk, me included, never talk uh, about something that is not yet announced publicly on the official channels, you know. Uh, so that's why I never talk about that. So first you, you will learn it from an official channel, then possibly I can give you details about uh, agreements like this or license or new uh, DLCs or whatever. Uh, so, as I said, either I don't know, because I don't do the licensing work, uh, I can only, you know, uh, consult the, the guys taking the licenses, or uh, give my opinion about them, that's it. Uh, or I'm not allowed to say, so I won't touch the argument. You know, uh, some, some time ago, this didn't exist. I mean, a, a, anybody from us could tell you, you know, we are working to get this, we will do it, we're trying to understand how and when. Um, but nowadays, it's just, just impossible. I mean, even for a single car, the manufacturer has to, uh, you know, check every detail, uh, be happy with it, ask for improvements or changes, you know. And once they are happy with the, with the result, then they will probably give you their permission to uh, go on and, and release it. And at that point, 
after all the contracts and legal stuff and the license uh, and money and approval uh, you can start talking about it so yeah it is what it is It depends on the truck. It can be from, you know, three months to six months, you know, so it really depends. No, you cannot determine the exact right height in the motor. It's uh, NDA. We don't release this channel. If you are good enough, you can maybe do a mathematical channel and uh, have an idea but there is not an exact uh, channel for that as in reality by the way because it's really difficult only some cars start now to have uh, laser um, uh, sensors that give you the actual right head and that only during testing not during races or race weekends so What is my main reason for streaming? Well, there are two main reasons. One is that I would, uh, I really love to showcase to to sim racers uh, the details of uh, of our simulator of Assetto Corsa Competizione, which I believe its simulators right now are so complex that uh, it really needs, you know, a steady approach uh, to showcase all the details and the inner workings of a simulator and the other reason is that I am a sim racer and uh, because of my everyday work it's not that I'm sim racing because obviously when you are working uh, you know 8 to 10 to 14 or 16 hours a day depending on the crunch mode um, obviously at the end of the day you don't have the wheel to go back and race you know uh, and be close to the community again. Uh, streaming this way permits me to have an easier approach because, you know, I'm not following a specific um, legal. I just get invited here and there and I happily go and participate without, you know, being way too much uh, involved into the whole thing. And at the same time, I can talk to you guys, which I, honestly, honestly, I can't tell you how much I appreciate that, because for me, you know, first of all, let me tell you, working from home is both a blessing and a problem. Uh, as everything in life, it has advantages and disadvantages. Well, the advantages are pretty clear, so I won't go into that. The disadvantage is that you don't see people. Uh, you're always, you know, you don't even have a, a cafeteria break or whatever. You don't see your colleagues. You just speak to them to whatever Discord or Zoom or whatever. That's it. So, um, I'll be honest, you know, don't, not going outside, especially now we are in lockdown. Uh, during weeks and weeks of work, uh, having the possibility to stream and talk with you guys, uh, it's good for it's it's good for my mental health honestly i appreciate it you're all very good guys it's uh, for me it's like having a discussion you know it's it's really nice so i really appreciate it and i thank you for for having the patience to stick with me for the usual three to four hours of uh, live stream it's a good thing sometimes i can tell you i'm like oh my god i have to do the live stream tonight you know and i'm too tired but then I start the live stream and I know that after, you know, half an hour, 
I will be in a good mood again. So it's, it's good, it's very good, very good. So those are the main two reasons. One, to explain, uh, and the other one is to stick with you guys. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what to tell you about uh, Unreal Engine 5. Oh my god, uh, GH, thank you so much, mate. Thank you, thank you so much. Nicolò perché avremo una gara settimana prossima con vecchie auto e ho scelto nel bene o nel male la vecchia Bentley e allora faccio qualche giro per vedere per fare un po' di pratica Hey, thank you Race Logic No, it's the target is always uh, different from car to car. There's not a rule that, that I can give you. Whoa! <laughs> Stay there. <laughs> Come on, traction control is so invasive, it stops the car down. But if I lower it by one, then it's just I, I would. Uh, I have no idea, to be honest. But I'm trying to, you know, get some practice behind this car that I'm not driving for a long time. See if I can do something under two minutes. Uh, but you know, most importantly, practicing right now. That's why I'm keep lapping and uh, driving. Oh, thank you so much, Rick. Thanks, Matt. Thank you, thank you. Really appreciate it. You're too good, guys. But, you know, it's, it's all about this. I mean, I just, as you can see, I'm, I'm lapping right now, talking to you. In the meantime, I'm trying to understand the car and uh, make some muscle memory for the car. Which, tonight, won't be something incredible, but, uh, you know, tomorrow would be better, and after tomorrow would be even better. By next week, it would be... Decent. Vancy! Oh, guys. Come on, guys. I mean, I'm not saying those things. To <laughs> thank you so much for your support, honestly. I mean, really, really thank you. Yeah, Tortellini, give me a normal lap time, you know, with uh, hot weather and everything. And um, possibly... Uh, you know, uh, good fuel load and stuff like that. Mr. Git, 59, V12, what, what kind of uh, fuel load and uh, temperatures do you have? <laughs> uh, 
All right, so mechanical. I could use a bit of. Uh, I'm not. I'm not even sure. I mean, you know what? Let's let's go stiffer on this car, and see what happens. Maybe it will balance out a little bit the the downforce and will make me better. Grazie, Celestio. So let's see. Oof, the dumpers. I haven't even touched the dumpers yet. Yet. Um, right. Thank you, Gert. Thirty liters, thirty degrees track. Okay, yeah, that's that's an indication. I can do that. I'm I'm pretty sure. I mean, the aliens will definitely do something like fifty-eight, fifty-seven here with old cars. They just don't care about our problems. <laughs> Eh, Alessio devi stare attento con lo short shift perché nel momento che cambi marcia si disabilita per un attimo anche il, uh, il traction control perciò dipende dalla macchina potrebbe aiutarti oppure no <laughs> yeah 369 I did some, uh, some changes I'm still, I mean, I haven't even tried the car, it's the first time, so I'm just enjoying, let's say, a little bit myself, you know, tweaking here and there. Uh, purtroppo no, da quello che so, Francesco. E sinceramente non so neanche perché. Dovrebbe. <laughs> Right. Let's do a couple more laps. It's a little bit stiffer now. It might help us to the left, right, left, right, you know, at high speed. Uh, they, they are slower because, you know, as I said, they still have to respect the efforts of the manufacturers. They cannot make the old cars as fast as the, uh, the new cars. It wouldn't make sense. So they are a little bit slower always. The specific of my computer, sì, è un uh, Ryzen 3600X con una Nvidia 2080 Ti uh, molto importante per assetto corso competizione e anche gli altri giochi di ultima generazione la velocità della RAM uh, assicurati che la tua RAM è settata bene ed è bella veloce con poca latenza la mia è 3002 con 15 CCL What was my first real car uh, race logic? And if you mean that, do you mean the first I, I have bought for myself or the first that I drove? Cozio, stai facendo un po' di confusione. Abbiamo aggiornato la fisica delle gomme su tutte le gomme. Poi questa in particolare, andando nel 2018, usa delle gomme del 2018. Uh, se vai su una pista 2020 uh, userà gomme 2020 uh, it seems better with the stiffer springs yes my personal uh, real car right now is a Miata NB FL from uh, 2001 an MX-5 Mazda MX-5 for who doesn't know uh, the Miata name. First owned car was a Lancia Prisma 1.6 Iniezione Elettronica. <laughs> that I bought it was full of rust, but it was so much faster than the Greek cars that I had uh, driven until, until then. 
This was an uh, interesting car, you know. The Prisma is practically a Delta with uh, a sedan Delta. Sì, Joel, faccio la fisica delle vetture. Principalmente. The car feels better, so I guess we can make it even stiffer and try to see if it improves. Rust, rust, not rats. <laughs> Yeah, it's, yeah, it's something with the steel and some other issues. Grazie Gioele. Auguri per i tuoi studi. Ah. Uff. Front splitter. Ah, <laughs> ma a wish, a wish mate. What Audi do you have? Seems faster the car. I'm doing good lap times without trying too hard. Ah, yeah, the, the sounds are really amazing. The S3, yeah, I have driven that on track. Interesting car. It's a bit too understeery for my for my liking, but I'm pretty sure that with a little bit of uh, you know tuning here and there, it should be very very good. You need to have a uh, one gear up with this car. Not here, of course. That was my bad here. I've lost 20 seconds. Oh, sorry. Two tenths of a second. <laughs>
Camaro, Camaro, nice. That's a monster of a car. So big though. Faster. That's good. Doesn't turn. All right, it's getting better. Uh, we can try also a little bit more stiffness and see how it will react. Um, let's go in the chat. What video extremely realistic uh, simulation? You mean the race logics? Uh, race logics? Do you mean that video with the guys on? Uh, Richard Burns rally that they had, you know, simulating the the turn and stuff like that. Uh, Nicolosi c'è molta differenza fra la Bentley del 2015 questa e quella del 2019. Right, so um ha <laughs> race logic. Well, it is a great video, lots of fun, even better than uh, an older one, but it is a copy of an older one by yours truly and Luca Sodano. Let me see if I can find it and post you the link. <laughs> because uh, the, uh, the first people that did the actual human first feedback was me and Luca Sodano. <laughs> yeah, we were, we were that crazy back then. That stupid, actually. Let's see if I can find it. Ah, here it is. <laughs> oh my god, this is so old. This is so old. I mean, if you want to cry or laugh, I don't know, it probably screens nowadays, but this was the video. We are talking GTR1 era, so it's, I, I don't even remember, it's, uh, it's not even, I mean, we have posted the video back then, and then we just lost it, uh, the, the account. That guy here, Stanislaw, got it and posted it again, I don't even know where he found out and how this video, but uh, yeah, it's... Uh, uh, I mean, he, he posted it again in 2007, but this video is even, even before that. So yeah, it's about 2004, 2005, something like that. I mean, you can see the monitor is CRT. It's not a, a LCD monitor. <laughs> All right, so um, what should I do? <laughs> yeah, we were young and stupid, even st more stupid than what we are now. <laughs> it was the Matrix era, you know. Hello, hello, Evil Razor. How much work? Um, uh, obviously, finding the, the data, obviously, but I guess um, being a completely new car and having all those data and stuff. Two weeks, three weeks, three three weeks probably to have a first, you know, working prototype, let's say. <laughs> Carbonara production, yeah. No non lo so se tanto, lo, lo, sa, lo, lo saprai da, dal canale ufficiale di, di Assetto Corsa. <laughs> I 
It's uh, it's history repeating, guys. It's always the same stuff because we are all so crazy. So. <laughs> Yeah, I was I was young and not so wealthy <laughs> or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, true, true plasma. I do, right? Yeah. <laughs> like a fatter version of uh, JD from Scrubs. <laughs> Yeah, it's it's a little bit cringy too if you if you look at it now, but yeah. The, the rings of bell was from the name you, from the guy that did you know the the GTR title back then. It was Ian Bell, rings of bell. Yeah, haha. -ha. <laughs> mm. Stefano, sono uno sviluppatore della Kunos, non posso parlare di altri simulatori, non è, non è etico. So what what we could uh, try and do here? I'm pretty sure that if I drive it a little bit faster, I could do 59. Joel, non c'è North Life in ICC. Uh, è la, il simulatore ufficiale del dell'SRO non corrono in North Life e non ce l'abbiamo. Um, what what should I do? Have no idea. <laughs> uh, let's go a little bit higher. You know, something like that. Yeah, let's go a little bit higher and see what happens. No, Rael, it's uh, it's an SRO series, and so they don't race there, so we we cannot we cannot put it on on the simulator. And there you have it, Tortellini, for the rescue. And uh, fuck you. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> why do you have to do that? But it's okay. I if I can do a fifty-nine-five, it's it's fine. No, the old Bentley stays with 134 liters. There are 132, yeah. Yeah, it's uh, an old video. <laughs> But I mean, it's it's just, you know, it. when I saw this today with the, the new video, I was like, hey, wait a minute. <laughs> We've been there, done that. <laughs> yeah. And of course, it was, you know, it was still me and Luca Sodano, always us two doing stupid things. <laughs> review, review bomb that video. <laughs> okay, okay, let's, let's do a couple of uh, laps more. Beh, Nicolò, meglio, meglio con ottimale, perché alla fine troverai sempre ottimale anche in gara. <laughs> Good slap, yeah. Sì, si, 70. Oh, boh, non, non è una domanda, cioè... Che domanda è, boh? <laughs> 
Cioè, <ride> giusto, giusto un po'. Yeah, I need to get better with the pedals and use TC, lower TC, but, you know, still trying to find out how to drive it. Hey, Griffey, thank you so much, mate. explain trail braking yeah we can make a video explain trail braking also although I think uh, we have explained this in a number of videos but there were more generic videos we could do one explain trail braking more specifically it won't happen today because as I said I'm a little bit tired today so I'm pretty sure I won't be explaining it properly but yeah we can do that Yeah, totally, definitely. Second slower than Tortellini, I can take this for now. Well, so <laughs> okay, let's try with uh, traction control one and see if I can handle it. Any race car on any track. Well, if I'm if I'm um, you know fresh enough and not tired, I would say uh, Bathurst. Very early in the morning when it's almost dark and then the sun comes out. The dawn at Bathurst is one of those virtual experiences that they are so impressive that 
it seems to me as a real experience, you know. It's, it's really, I was, I mean, I know I, I, we did the, the game, but when I experienced it the first time, I was like, holy, this is unbelievable. <laughs> I, was, I was really astonished by how good it was. Uh, what car? Mm, I don't know, something loud. I don't know. Maybe, maybe the Lexus, for example. It's been a while I haven't driven drove the, the Lexus. But uh, I don't know. Maybe, maybe the the Mercedes. I should try it with the Mercedes one day. Um, other things. Uh, if if I would be a little bit more tired, let's say. So more for fun. What I could take. Mm. I'm thinking. But I, I don't know. Um, uh, extremely, extremely low VR experience. Like, I tried it, oh, that's cool, that's it. That's cool, I'll never use it, that's it. <laughs> LMPs? Sorry, I've lost you. Okay, let's do let's do a proper lap possibly. No, oh, I know what I'm missing, but I am also driving six hours at least a day, and uh, it's neither easy to go in and out, and uh, neither too healthy if you're doing it so much time every single day as I do it. Hey Dom! Wow, thank you so much, mate. Thank you so much. Easier on the on the accelerator because when I go too hard on it, the traction control just goes in and simply stops the car. Uh, ACC simulates the SRL series. You will only see trucks that they are included in the SRL series. That's it. It's like asking for those trucks into the Formula One game. It won't happen.
nerfata da quando? No, non abbiamo... Da quando è uscita è rimasta la stessa la 4 tot. Se intendi che vi trovate peggio in confronto alla vecchia è perché il motore è molto più aggressivo e non potete usare esattamente i stessi setup o lo stesso approccio. La macchina è più cattiva. Yeah, the, the RAM speed... Oh, no, I cannot drive. <laughs> Let's see a little bit of a replay. Uh, the RAM speed is... Uh, that's a nice car. Big. Massive. The RAM speed is uh, very important on all the modern titles, especially in a set of course competition because of the very big uh, uh, textures. Uh, it needs a lot of bandwidth between the, uh, the uh, video card and the uh, uh, CPU. So the faster the RAM you have and the more frame rate you do. Uh, we often see, you know, people with uh, quite big PCs. Uh, in terms of specs, but they don't do enough frame rate and obviously they complain, but usually it's they have either the RAM is not good, well configured because on the old uh, motherboards of uh, Ryzen's, for example, you had to go in and configure the RAM manually or it's simply a very slow RAM, so it doesn't do well. Anthony. Thanks, John Smith. Ah, yeah, you see, Kylo, it's it's exactly that. Usually, by default, it stays somewhere around uh, 1400 and you, you have to manually fix it and then flies, it's completely changing. L'ho provata pochissimo, Nicolò, giusto per vedere che la fisica era uguale e poi basta. È una cosa che vorrei fare e dare, vedere se posso dare un feedback, insomma, e... Alcune cose non mi tornano, non nella fisica ma in altre situazioni. Oh, that, that was nice here. Let me, let me see this again. Oh, nice. Two wheels. Look at that. Boom! <laughs> that is nice. Let's see if we can catch this. Oh, come on. Let's see what we can do about this. Looks like a nice moment. Yeah. Okay. Haha. <laughs> nice. <laughs> It's quite some mirror here. Yeah, the flying, the flying botly, the flying, the flying bot. I have to possibly, ah, this thing doesn't always work properly. Καλησπέρα, Αλέξανδρε. Boink. Σμπλόμπ. Let's see what happens to the... to the tires from the other side. Give me that flex.
the botley Flat spots are simulated in ACC. I don't even know that uh, they're also simulated in Air Factor 2 now. Splunk. Ah, nice. Oh, that's so much flex there. <laughs> nice. Boingly. <laughs> Um, Carl, are you sure you are not having uh, Steam in, in offline mode or something maybe in your uh, internet provider is, is blocking the access to our servers? Check those two things or uh, uh, maybe a um, um, firewall blocking the access. Hey, definitely not a bird. <laughs> Hello from the Sim Grid guys. Congrats for the uh, the new um, uh, what is uh, event with how many money? I don't I don't remember. Quite a bit of quite a good amount of money. Yeah, yeah. We'll update the setup, although it's not perfect yet. I'm just you know fiddling around with it. I trampy setup. Twenty k. Wow, that's that's a great amount. So I don't know if you guys know it, but uh, SimGrid has uh, announced a new event, uh, Champions League or something, and they have a uh, twenty thousand uh, euros um, uh, award for, for for the winners for, for whatever. Thanks, Claudio. <laughs> yeah, uh, Kylo. Um, yeah, check check that thing. Hey, Hitman. No worries, man. Always glad to to be of help. Thanks, definitely not a bird. So yeah, World Cup season two, twenty thousand uh, dollars prize pool. So wow. <laughs> And a uh, big hi to, to David Perel, always on top of the game. Fifty cards, wow, that's impressive. Two splits. So in total, one hundred cards. Ah, oh, look at that. Did you see that, uh, that nice drift over there? That was nice. Look at it. In you go, and then at the outside. Rap, 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 rap. <laughs> Tortellini. Tortellini right now. Oh, sign in, sign in, sign in. Money. <laughs> uh, grazie, Setanta. <laughs> Let me let me save the setup because otherwise I'm gonna lose everything. It wasn't that bad. So what is this? This is uh, uh, sealed Bentley 15 with track 28, ambient 30, 001. I mean, it's uh, it's ridiculous still, but. Probably if I go back to the aggressive now, I'm faster than, than that. But yeah, let's save it. Takumi! Nice! Ah, that's a flex by Tortellini. I don't need to sign in. I'm already in. Top of the, top of the grid, mate. <laughs> 
Look at him flexing. <laughs> <laughs> hey, thank you, thank you, Mancunia. Stay safe, mate. Yeah, thank you so much. Take care, mate. Have a look. If we can find. Uh... Ciao, Stefano. Grazie mille. Grazie mille, Stefano. Oh, here is Theo Gamoto. Ah, li pa mi di ti tracos. Uh, maybe with a VPN, something strange that I honestly, I don't really know. Torte Flexini. <laughs> Torte Flexini. Let me have a look. It's not like I'm really willing, but let's see. Uh, let's get our Bentley. Server list. See if we can find a silver stone. <laughs> Let's uh, dev bomb, <laughs> photo bomb, dev bomb. I think so. Yeah. A little cute monkey. <laughs> it's a uh, it's an Italian uh, joke that we uh, we do in inside Kunos with Marco. So I just put that name for for a team. Eh, so se to Theo, so se to τα documents, ας το κόρσο τα documents αρχεία και μετά βάζε τα ένα-ένα και δες αλλά δες αν έχεις το Steam σε offline mode I don't know, definitely I don't know, I'm, I'm gonna have a look and see if I can join something but I'm honestly, no idea just for fun Apex Online. That's a uh, crazy at Silverstone. They have 20 people in there. 20 minutes, uh, 7 20. Let's go there. Why not? Let's see if we can join. Hey, Alexandre, that the Neho. Oh, they're still, they're already in race. Oh my God. <laughs> this is why people always have to insult each other. I don't know if Mr. Guido has a server right now. We'll do the race. Uh, oldie well Goldie. Silverstone. Oh, yeah. That's just two people, ten people here. Misano. Uh, Let me, uh, let me let me check Silverstone, but I just want to find um, five, ten, twenty. 
this is in race right now yeah and oh my god eight minutes this is full uh, where am I let's go back so you say mr. git you have the you have a server I bet it's uh it's with us uh, uh, another one serious 2020 but it's 2000 uh, it's just one one guy in there why do I have the give me the Bentley server 8 let's go in Green light, go. oh night time 16 degrees come on uh, do I really want to do that it's, it's midnight <laughs> yes, of course, of course people are coming in. <laughs> so I need to go up like, f I don't know, 1 PSI, 26.1, Jesus. <laughs> yeah, now now they're gonna be you know ah yes yeah, we're so much faster than the developer. I don't even know where the where the secret. I mean, actually, it's so much time that I haven't raced Silverstone during the night. And look at that! <laughs> this is the reflection of the LEDs on the widescreen. Jesus. <laughs> what a car. Come on, come on, join Irox. Don't worry about it. Who cares? We're gonna do a couple of laps, and that's it. It's not like we're gonna do big race. Tanta faccio la principalmente faccio la fisica delle vetture. to to break saved it wow must say the car has so much aerodynamic drag that you can stop quite well <laughs>
Ah, oh, the splitter. Dead splitter. <laughs> Mr. Git. Raffaele concentrati sulle pressioni Le temperature più di tanto non puoi farci molto uh. I don't see where I'm going It's a real time server, yes <laughs> I see a car in front of you. Mr. Git. Yes, Vancy absolutely affected the edge bars affected by barometric pressure, both by the temperature and, uh, you know, clouds and stuff, and also by the altitude. Oops. Occasionally, I try some other sims to, you know, to know where we are, where we stand. Yeah.
<laughs> my god. Alright, I need some extra front end at some situations. I could use a little bit of extra cumber at the front. Hmm. So what do I could do? This is like that. I'm trying to understand if I can find solutions. I don't really know exactly. I could use more aero oversteer like this, but less mechanical oversteer like this. No, that that will no, that won't work. Oops. Mm. How do I fix that? Hello, Vortex! No, I don't think that's gonna be nice. I mean, I could try. Something like this. And... Uh, like that. Right. Nah, super speed. I just, I'm just, you know, right now I'm interested so only to make the car faster and myself more accustomed to to driving it in race conditions. So I don't really care right now for out, uh, you know, qualifying performance. Zolder. Uh, 45 minutes. Um, raise the right height so that you can be, you know, more secure when you go over the curbs, even by error. That's the main issue at Zolder. If you if you screw up and you go over the curbs, uh, you're gonna jump a lot. If you raise by two to three millimeters the car, you're gonna have a good time. You can tell, tell the difference. Uh, I mean, it's it's also enough to to understand what speed you're doing. Oh, where is this guy going? Sono abbastanza aggressivo. Mi devo sforzare per diventare dolce. Sono abbastanza un animale. better mm. a bit 
better here. Stop it! <laughs> Couldn't stop the car. Car on the left. Clear on the left. Ah, high speed oversteer always says the right heat. Yeah. Your lap time is invalidating. Please try to stay on the track. Oh, it does matter a lot. I mean, again, I highly advise you to go and check my videos that I give step by step what you need to change from what to start what to go it's step one step two step three because if you change the things randomly you won't understand exactly what's going on so it pays to go with a certain you know um, sequence of changing things uh, if uh, if cc driver can post you the link you will find the playlist that gives you how to change the setup on the gt3 cars yellow flag in sector Fifty eight in race pace, uh, possibly. Thank you, Sissy Driver. Hey, cheers, Evel Racer. Or, uh, Razor, sorry. Ciao Manuele! I drove the NSX on the last uh, live stream at uh, Poricar and I, I think it's an interesting drive you can find some information about what the N6 does well and what does bad. So maybe you wanna have a look at this.
session is now over. Over, session over. Hey. 56 7 <laughs> on the port. Oh, fuck. Well, that position is not that bad, but the gap is a bit too much. But still, I mean, good for a lot. How much is the race? 20 minutes. Ugh, I'm tired. <laughs> 20 minutes. Um, 3.2. I don't know. How much should I put in? 40 liters. Let's go for 40 liters. Actually, I want to pee. <laughs> mm, casino, is a tanta. Forty is a bit too much for for twenty. Yeah, it should be enough. I mean, who cares? Uh, 2634, oh my god. Uh, one piece side down. 2 1.1, 26.2, 26, 26.8, uh, and then I go down by 2. 1, 2, 1, 2, 2, 1, 2. Oh, let's hope for the better. I don't know if that will fix it. Silverstone is one of the most difficult tracks, damn it. <laughs> I think it's more than one PSI lower all around. Oh wait, I have to go. <laughs> I was sitting there reading, reading the chat. <laughs> oink oink. Twenty seconds. <laughs> PayPal donation for giving opponents drive-throughs. Ah, that's uh, the, the small rolling. That, that's good. We we'll have to be careful here. Very, very low pressures. Okay, let's go. Car on the right. Clear on the right. Whoops. And the what the McLaren Got aggressive. <laughs> My god, they're so fast on the straight. Tires. Oh. Clear on the 
right. Car on the left. That was a bomb. Clear on the left. How many? How many McLarens are here? Niente Andrea Cazzeggio That was close behind me. Mm. Lost the apex there. Oof. What's going on? We can get that McLaren in front of us. Just need to get faster. We're gonna get a drive through. <laughs> Traction. <laughs> no, you cannot overtake over there, mate. <laughs> Ciao, Satanta. some sleep stream yeah the battle is so big that simply doesn't get sleep stream from from the McLarens our trousers.
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> the aircon, yeah. Oh, we have a disqualifying. What happened? the guitar thing. Ah, jump start. Right. that McLaren facing the other way around no no the old Bentley will stick to 134 liters Consistency. <laughs> Slow car hey, DMC CS. Glad you enjoyed. Oh, I can't stop the car. It's the Tellini. Uh, uh. Tellini wants to play with me.
Eh, eh. Push, push, thank you. <laughs> Ridiculous, I cannot even get the slipstream from the cars. It's a banana. No traction. <laughs> Goodbye, Porsche. <laughs> flash him, flash him. so slow that even when I cut the truck it doesn't give me limits. <laughs>
Oh, the McLaren is arriving. Yeah, but I mean, we don't stop for drive throughs right now. It's the last lap, who cares? It's, it's a for fun race. That was a fast entry over there. <laughs> Can I do it? Oh, I touched. Fuck. Caught him by surprise too. He tried. Have another lap, one more lap. Oh, he's going in for the drive through. Uh, so I'm free. Should we push him? Should we push him to the finish? He has enough fuel. <laughs> he has enough fuel.
podium. Whoa, our dynamics. Hey. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Francesco, ciao. <laughs> Peter. Oh, too much. <laughs> all right, all right. Enough. Okay. Mm. Have some drift here. Yeah, bro, 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 Great, okay, so we did a little bit of a drive, we did a little bit of a race, we had a podium out of pure luck, as usual, but uh, consistency wins, yeah. So, um, thank you so much, guys. It's, it's, yeah, it's one o'clock in the morning, so thank you so much. Remember, next week we have this kind of uh, fun race, and uh, yeah, what can I say? That's it. Thank you so much for joining, thank you so for being so many uh, tonight. Even though it was a, uh, what? Well, I cannot change. Even though it was a uh, easy going um, mode, but uh, yeah. So, see you again. Thank you, everybody. Great fun, and uh, thank you for you know keeping my mood up. It was uh, one of those nights. Thank you, guys. Cheers.